Analysis with Joe Dietrich. What's up guys, Joe here. Today I'm gonna to be showing off some kind of advanced sword soul combos. Um, none of these are gonna be super standard. They're all gonna be some pretty unique combos that I've seen other like high skilled players do or some that I've kind of figured out myself through playing the deck for a while. Um, the first combo we're gonna show is a combo that like you check for nib, they don't nib you and then you're able to super extend uh, past the point where they would have nibbered you. So what we need for this combo is either Adhara or Vershuda, Ashina, and then Emergence. We're going to start by specialing the Ashina. We're going to link it off here for Monk, special the Adhara. And then use Ashina's effect to summon one from deck. We're going to bring out Vashuda here. And then we're going to Synchro away into Boxia. We're going to use Boxia's effect to target the Monk and the Adhara. Now, here is where most people would make Chao Fang to not get in a beard. So we can like always ask our opponent, like, do you have any response to this? Anything here? If they say no, then we're just going to continue playing since we didn't get in a beard. Um, we're going to activate Emergence and we're going to search our deck for Taya. We're then going to normal summon the Taya. Move this over here a little bit. And I also need something to make tokens with. I'm going to use Taya's effect to banish the emergence from grave. Making sure all this can be seen. Yep, okay. And that makes a level 4 token. Next, what we're going to do is use the effect of emergence to increase this to a level 9. So it says here on the card that you can either increase or decrease a monster you control by one. So this is a level nine now. Next thing we're gonna do is take both of these, synchro them away for Sinister. And then what we can do is use Adhara's effect, add back the Ashina. Then we can synchro away the two to make a second box here, yeah. and then we can use Taya's effect here. Now we're not going to trigger the effect of draw yet. Uh, it's important that we thin our deck out before we draw, so we maximize our chance to draw something like a non-engine card like Nibiru or Ash, for instance. We're then gonna use Taya's effect to dump Moe. And since we've added back the Ashina, we can use Box's effect to target itself target the Moye, summon the Moye out. Then we're gonna Moye reveal, summon a token. Then we're going to synchro away into Shisho. Um, since we've already pretty much checked for Ash because they would have Ashed here or they would have Ashed on the Ashina, we can make this chain link three. Um, that means this will be the first thing to resolve so we'll search and then we'll draw two, which gives us, again, a higher percent chance to draw those non-engine cards. So we'll go chain like one, two, and then three. So we'll add the long, you can add blackout here. Um, it really just depends on the matchup. I know like against SP and stuff like that, like uh, the uh, trap is not very good against them. So adding the long in here usually is fine. Then we're going to resolve both effects. So we're going to draw two cards. Those are pretty good draws. Then we're going to activate the effect of Long Young, discarding Ashina, summoning a token. And here, we cannot make Baron since we're locked into Worms, unfortunately. But what we can make is the other big 10. Then we can use the effect to burn for uh, 12. Now this card triggers when a card is banished. So what we can do is uh, we can use Shisha's effect to banish something from Grave, to negate something, to trigger this whenever we want to, outside of using this effect to banish things as well. So that's a pretty cool combo that gets you two level 10s plus a level eight and two draws. For the next combo, I'm gonna be showing you a combo we do with Ashina, Vessel, and any way to tie. So Emergence works here too, uh, as well as Ecclesia. Um, a lot of people don't play Vessel. It allows us to do a lot of really cool lines. Uh, this is the first one I'm going to show off. So we're going to Special Ashina. We're going to Link into Monk, just like the last combo. 
Then we're going to activate Vessel, and what Vessel says is if we control a token or a non-effect monster, we can send a Worm Monster from deck to grave and then add a Tenny, uh, which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do here is dump Long Young, and then add, you can either add Adhara or Vashuda. It doesn't really make a difference here. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to activate the Adhara, Special Summon, activate the Ashina, summoning the Vashuda from our deck. Then we synchro away into Boxia, use Boxia's effect, destroy the Monk, summon back the Adhara, then synchro for nine. And it's Xiaofang. Normal summon the Tai, because we haven't normal summoned yet. And then we can look at our grave here and use Tai's effect to banish the Long Young to summon a token. Next, what we can do is banish Adhara, add back the Long Young. Now, it really depends on your build here and how greedy you want to be. If you play two Boxias and recommends you only go into Chi Shao after this, but if you play three, what you can do is the exact same thing we did last combo, where we're going to make a Boxia, use Ty's effect to dump, and we're going to dump the Moe. Uh, this makes it so we maximize our chance to draw a Worm off of Moe, because we currently don't have anything discard for this. And if we draw something discard for this, that means we can search the blackout. So we're going to use Box's effect, destroy itself, summon the Moe back, use Moe's effect, reveal, summon a token. Now what we're going to do is Synchro for Shisho. And it's extremely important in this line that we make this Chainlink 1 and Moe Chainlink 2 because what we search is dependent on what we draw. So we draw, we drew Nibiru. If we drew any of our Sword Soul or Worm cards, like let's say we just drew a Shooter, right? Then we would just add the Blackout. Since we didn't, it's probably better to add Emergence so we can search for a Tenny since we control a Tutor Monster. Or it's better to just search for something you don't really care about like another Moe. Um, assuming we draw this, right? Then we would just simply search the blackout. And then use the longing effect, discarding this, and then synchroing for a 10. And then you still have the blackout as well. So this combo is protected from Nib, obviously, with the Chao Feng. The only thing you do get pretty hard punished by is like Imperm on the Taya, which can be pretty tough sometimes. Speaking of losing to Imperm, this next combo helps you play around it, but it does play very hard into Nib, so just be aware of that uh, if you're going to be going forward with this combo. Um, if we look at our hands here, a uh, normal line we could do is just normal summon the Moe and reveal one of these, but if we get Imperm, then our turn ends completely. Um, so a line that will help us play through this is if we start with Ashina, the special it, link it off for Monk, Use Ashina's effect to summon from deck. Summon Adhara. Link the Adhara into a second monk. Then use Adhara's effect to banish itself to add back the Ashina from earlier. Now what we can do is normal summon the Moe, revealing the Ashina. If this gets negated, what we can do is link both of these into Shaman. And sometimes it does make a difference what you want to keep on field. And there are times where I value Moe uh, being on the fields, but this has the effect that if a non-effect monster declares an attack, it can destroy a card. So there are instances where you want to keep the monk face up on the field instead of linking both away. What we're going to do now is use Shaman's effect. We're going to discard the tie for cost. And since cost was paid and we already had a target, we can special summon the tie that we just discarded. Next, what we're going to do is use tie as effect to banish the other monk to summon a token. 
Now, we can use this effect to summon because Shaman only prevents us from activating, from not activating the effects of Monster Spider Summon from the extra deck. So if we made something like Shisho here, we could not use the effect to search, but we could still use the effect to negate on the following turn. So what we can do here is Synchro both into either Shisho if you want, or Draco Berserker, and Draco Berserker would be able to use its effect since it is a tiny. Um, but for this case, I'm just gonna make a Shisho. Then we can activate Taya's effect. Taya can allow us to dump something that we want for next turn. Since we already have Ashina in our hand, it might be better to dump something like Hara. So we're able to use Shisho on their turn, banishing the Taya, and then during our turn, since we have this uh, non-effect monster, we can use the Taya, or the Edhar, I'm sorry, to add back the Taya. So we have follow-up for sure, since we already have the Moya Engrave. Next combo is something that um, isn't really super relevant against Sword, but if they do it correctly, sometimes it can be uh, pretty detrimental to your turn. I'm going to be talking about how to play around Droll and Lockbird. So we're going to start with Emergence. We're going to activate Emergence. We're going to add Taya. And as soon as we, if we get drolled here, um, I guess we'll just flip this over to indicate that we've been drolled or something. Um, now we can't search for the rest of the turn. What we're going to do is normal summon the Taya. Use Taya's effect. Banish the Emergence as cost to summon the token. Then we're going to synchro both away into Shisho. And what we're going to do is make this chain link 1 and this chain link 2. And we can still activate this Shisho effect because it has a secondary effect. We can banish something from deck. So we're going to be banishing. Oh, this is chain link 2. I apologize. We're going to be sending the Ashina and we're going to be banishing the Blackout. And what Blackout does when it's banished is it can summon a Sword Soul token level 4 tuner. So we're going to activate that effect. Special summon the tuner, and then we're going to activate Ashina's effect to summon a Tenny from deck. We're going to summon Shathana, and then what we can do from there is synchro both into Draco Berserker. So it allows us to make two level 8 synchros um, without searching at all after we the initial emergence, obviously, um, which is a lot better than just like. Um, not doing anything at all, just making the one synchro. So, this obviously only occurs if you're playing Shathana, but I think Shathana is a card that uh, you should probably consider, especially with people playing cards like Book of Eclipse so often. All right, so for one of our final combos here, what we're gonna do is demonstrate um, an opponent that wants us to play into Nib. Sometimes, if we uh, reveal the Long Young off the Moye, they won't stop the Moye's effect because I want us to commit harder into the nib. So this is actually something that happened uh, recently for me. I made Shisho and they negated it and then I was like, oh, I don't really have to play harder into nib because I would just lose here. So this hand here, we have a starter, an extender, and three hand traps. A really good hand, but we do lose Snibir completely here. So what we're going to do to play around it is activate Emergence, add Moye, Normal Moe, Moe effects, reveal the Long Young in our hand, summon a token, and then we can Synchro off. Now, if we're making this Chain Link 1 and this Chain Link 2, and let's say they Veil or Imperm this, because they don't want us to get to Blackout, um, if, because like, if they Nibiru us and we have a way to get to a Tenny, we can make that Blackout live and force them to use their Battle Phase to out the Monk or something. Uh, assumingly, if this gets negated and we draw a card, let's just assume it's something that does nothing. Um, then what we're going to do is just pass here. Um, and then on our opponent's turn, we're going to use Shisha's effect, at least, to negate one of their things. And then, when this emergence is banished, we're going to use the effect to make this a level 7. Now we want to continue to play around Nib as much as possible. So what we're going to do is, let's assume we just draw another blank card for turn, something that doesn't do anything. And then on our turn 3, this is still a level 7, we're going to normal summon our Veiler. And then we're going to synchro. 
into the second Shisha. And we're gonna use Shisha's effect to search. What I usually like to grab here in this situation is Emergence because Emergence allows us to add a Tenny if we control a Synchro Monster. So we're gonna activate Emergence. We're gonna add a Tenny, but we're not gonna use the effect. We just want it to have more resources available to us. Now, if you notice, the effect failure plus this has been two summons. Then we're gonna use Long Young's effect, discarding the Ashina, and that gives us four summons. And our fifth summon, will be, of course, the Baron. Now, if we activate Longing's Effect to Burn, they'll be at 68. If they activate Nibiru, we can just negate it. All right, our final combo is with this new card, Triple Tactics Thrust. Obviously, if we get like Ash or Valor, or we're playing through a board, we can add things like Emergence or Desires. And if we're going first, we can add something like Black Cut, which is really strong. But I want to show off how you use this card when you're playing through Nibiru. Essentially what we're going to do is this hand um, does not play through Nib very well on its own. We're going to normal summon Moya, use the effect, reveal the Taya, summon a token, synchro off. We're going to make this chain link one and Moya Chain Link 2, since we've had nothing to be ashed on yet, we want to try to play around Ash as much as possible, at least in this instance. Um, so it doesn't matter what we draw. Let's just draw a random card. And then we're going to use Shisao's effect to search. And off of that, we're going to add the lock. Next, what we're going to do is use Long Young's effect, discrediting the Taya, summoning a token. Now at this point, it's been five summons. Our opponent is gonna nib us, and then we're going to lose our entire board and be stuck with a token. It doesn't usually matter where they put it, but for the most part, it's better to put it underneath one of the extra monster zones. Next, what we're gonna do is activate Triple Tactics Thrust. And since they control a monster, we can add the card instead of setting it, so we're gonna add Vessel. Next, we're going to activate the Vessel. We're going to send to Grave the Ashina, and we're going to add the Adhara. Next, we're going to Special the Adhara, activate Ashina's effect, Special out the Shuda, Synchro both. into Boxia. Then we're going to activate Boxia's effect to return the Nibiru token to deck. So this goes away. And then we're going to activate our Hara, add back the Ashina. Then we're going to activate Boxia's effect to destroy the Nibiru token. And it doesn't really matter what you summon out here. Um, I guess I'll just summon out Moya. Then what we're going to do is link the two away into Shaman, and then we're going to use Shaman's effect, discarding Ashina, summoning back the Shisha. So through Nibiru, it still allows us to end on a Shisha plus a form of follow-up with the Shaman, uh, and we still keep our draw off the Moe. So playing through Nib um, can be a lot easier with cards like Vessel. Uh, obviously opening them uh, is a lot stronger as well. Opening Ashina, opening Vassal, stuff like that helps you make shelving as early as possible. But yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know down below. Thank you so much.